Alrighty bros, I hope you've all been enjoying your day so far today. I wanted to make an updated video on this Nintendo DS emulator, Des Mumi, alongside with I am going to put a Twitter link down in the description below for you guys of a tweet that I ended up posting the other night of this ROM set right here of Nintendo DS files. For legal reasons and YouTube's policy, I cannot put the direct link to this Reddit post, but like I said, I will go ahead and put this Twitter link down in the description for you guys if you are looking to get some Nintendo DS games. This is not every single one of them, it is only 411 games, but he basically went through all the Nintendo DS games and just picked his favorite ones. Now keep in mind, you are going to need some sort of an unzipping file. I would recommend 7-zip, as well as you are also going to need to update Visual C++ if you do not already have that on your computer because this emulator relies a lot on that. Now before I forget, I do also want to show you guys, when you download these files from that Twitter link that I'm going to put in the description for you guys, these are all of the files that you're going to get. There's a part one and part two. You only have to click one link to download part one, and then you only have to click one link to download part two. But once you download all of these files, you're just gonna have to select every single one of them, choose 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever extracting program that you have, just select all of those files and hit extract here. And it will bring you to whatever it'll it'll extract all of those files and you'll just have to move the ROMs into one folder and that is how you do that so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this what you need to do in order to extract Des Mumi, the Nintendo DS emulator you're just going to have to choose 7-zip and extract to Des Mumi, and it will extract the emulator right there now because I already have this emulator I am not going to use that because I already have the thing, but I am going to set my settings back to default and all of that sort of stuff. Holy crap, wrong one. Okay, so emulators, Desmumi, Desmumi emulator. Now I already took the FPS counter off of my screen and that sort of stuff. Um, but when you go into your configurations, this is what's really going to like boost the graphic quality of your game. When you first load up yours, it is going to look like this. And if your like, if your emulator like starts like flickering and it like takes up all of your monitors if you have more than one and you just it like gets all awkward, that is not your fault or just over clocking your settings or something. It's just a bug with the emulator. But I am going to go ahead and load up a ROM file here um I'm I'm I don't really know like I'm just gonna go ahead and pick like a spider-man game or something yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put spider-man okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and this is what your emulator is going to look like when you first download this now I did I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something before I forget here configuration sound settings Make sure that you change this right away because it's not going to sound good when you first load up this emulator Make sure that you hit synchronous. It's going to set as default as this dual SPU This right here will be set as I'm pretty sure that'll be set as that and then this right here Okay, I already reset that part. So that is what that is right there And that's what you need to do for that window size. I'm going to just do I'm gonna do 2.5 just for the video so that uh just in case this whatever gets all messed up and I have to use the bottom screen now for your controller settings all you have to do is go into your controller config and then I'm using an Xbox one controller and Google will be your best friend for this so if like you want if you don't know what the Nintendo DS buttons are this is how you look that up and you can just select the ones that are better for you. I'm going to make sure that I have my Xbox because I do have an 8-bit do controller as well. So I want to make sure that everything is um, is good here on left. Okay, and then that's how you do that. You just use your mouse or whatever here. Or you can use your controller too, believers. but it's just annoying. <laughs> okay, so I do got to show you guys this right now because... um. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the one LCD 
and then I'm going to increase the window size to four. Now, like I said, if your like screen all of a sudden like takes up all of your monitors, don't worry about that. That's just an issue with the emulator itself. It's not like you overdoing something or anything like that. So this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and set it as default just so that you guys can see that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower it since it didn't do anything. Okay. So one, uh, it's gonna like be the default. That's what it'll be, I think, at least for the default settings. This is what's really going to increase the way your game looks. So make sure that, depend, keep in mind, I have an i7-6800 overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz and a GTX 1080. So you may not be able to go as high as I am right now. And make sure that you select OpenGL 3.2. Um, all right, uh, multi-sampling. Make sure everything is rechecked. Right, enable fog texture channeling okay that's all of that stuff okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, fps counter on screen for you guys so my game might be a little messed up because i am kind of i'm recording and uh you know doing this at the same time now this right here your magnification filters if you do end up upping these, you're almost, I'm almost a hundred percent positive. You're going to have to turn these settings down because like I said, guys, I have, I have a really good computer and even I can't, um, you know, it's probably going to do the, whatever the glitch here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, but yeah, see. Yeah, you see what I mean though? Like. I mean, it just, it really bogs down your computer. Um, that is, I'm, I mean, that's not 60 frames per second. But anyways, I don't do that because as you guys can see, it's just really, really laggy. This bug is so annoying, you don't even know. So basically what you need to know as far as this if you like if you're playing your game at 60 frames per second and you select two because your computer is bogging down basically you will literally be playing your game at like 30 frames per second because every frame it skips it skips to the second one if you do not go over four because your game will look like crap so just lower your settings or something if you do end up you know if your game starts lagging do not uncheck limit frame rate because that will mess mess up everything and as far as like the quality of the game goes this right here you can only go up to five and i would recommend that you leave it at five instead of using filters because like i said this is what the game is going to look like and then if i go into magnificent please don't do the freaking bug Oh my god. As you guys can see, like, I mean, the game didn't like lagging or anything, but it's still, it looks like crap. And then if I go back into my 3D settings and like go up to three, it, it really is. This bug is super annoying. So dumb. Like, it's still laggy. But anyways, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it the way that I like it. And I'm just going to keep this all the way up. Like I said, guys, it is annoying. But. There we go. Just like double click the top there and everything will be okay. Maybe it, it's got to be. It's got to just be this game. All right, well, I kind of want to do it with you guys in the video. I'll probably most like end up cutting it here all right bros i ended up figuring out the sound settings the best quality here is direct sound interface at least for this game 8000 buffer size the highest quality synchronize and then sync method z and you guys will see it sounds much better now um it's not like skipping or anything like that access denied dude this game is actually really really fun Freak. 
Hello? Spider-Man, baby. Better than Spider-Man on the PS4. But yeah, guys. Um, once I get, like, everything set up in, like, Launchbox and that sort of stuff, I'll do, like, my... My like, top 10 Nintendo DS games because I don't have them installed in Launchbox yet. All I have is the Super Nintendo, the Sega, um, the NES, the GameCube, Nintendo Wii. I don't have many GameCube or Wii games because I only get the ones I like since they're, they're big, big, big files. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to disable the FPS counter because I don't enjoy that when I am not mean to hit that. Playing the game. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to support it with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, guys, I will post a Twitter link down in the description below. If you guys would like to, you know, go and get this ROM set right here. But like I said, for legal reasons and YouTube's policy, I cannot put the link to this sort of stuff. Direct link in, in the description of my video because the bot will see it. And I, I'll get a strike on my channel. And I do not want that to happen. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to support it with a like if you're dead. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.